Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In the last part we handled the liberation of Cloud City. In this part, we'll take on the battle in the clouds on my personal favorite map, so let's go into that. An Imperial garrison has been left behind to monitor Cloud City's mining operations. The planet's mining operation is essential to our cause. We must take back those facilities. Okay, we've recaptured Cloud City, but now we have to secure the outline mining platforms. Remember, pilots will automatically. Who cares? It's not like it's anything you shouldn't know by now. Uh, do do. Okay, anyways, yeah. As I said before, this is my favorite map from either game, or any game, since there's also those two on the PSP, which I've never played. But anyways, yeah, this is my favorite map. It, it's got, like, everything you could want. Like, it's got the biggest aerial combat set up with, like, what the Rebels have, like, eight X-Wings, and the Empire's got a crud ton of TIE Fighters, and also... Two Y wings and two tie bombers to a side. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, a bunch of air and fun little ground combat as well with this back and forth setup. There's basically one setup choke point, and then as I think the beginning thing says, you can just fly over behind enemy command posts and seal them to flank them. So yeah, you can usually rely on the computers to do that. They'll usually do it a bit. That's basically how I plan to win this. Is by just holding this position. So we have four command posts, holding them at three. So just relying on some point or other, our guys taking a command, one of their command posts for a while, and dropping them down to two, which is where they'll really start to lose command posts, and where we'll close the 50-man deficit that we start off with. And also by having these four command posts, even if they move in and take one of ours for a short period, and you're never gonna be able to hold those command posts by behind enemy lines unless you got a friend playing with you because computers are too stupid to hold them and you'd only really be able to hold one by yourself unless you're really good at going back and forth between the two since kinda spread out decently enough but yeah so yeah basically if you wanna win this with computers just hold the middle it's not going to work all the time because sometimes your allies will be stupid and Enemy give up two command posts behind you. Incoming. Or, um, will just not ever go out and capture them. And that'd be, that's all fine and dandy in, like, instant action where you start off with even number of command, or an even number of reinforcements. But here with you down so much, you really need to get them down to two command posts at some point or another to catch up. Now, on medium, you can push out past this bridge and go capture their um, other command post that's directly across the bridge. And on hard, I find that doesn't work very well. If you're really good, probably you could maybe do it. But I usually get torn to shreds more than capture it, so my main strategy is just to take stand on the high ground on this back end of the bridge and just fire down on them. So you can just, again, high ground, like I said in the last part, just take a few steps back and you're totally behind cover and they can't do crap about it. So yeah, points or another, your computer allies are going to try to push out too far over the bridge and they're going to get torn to shreds and a mob of Imperials will come and push out. So that's when thermal detonators come into play. So yeah, just hold this. It's also a ton of fun to go out as like a pilot or whoever the heck you want to be into one of the X-Wings and just fight like that. It's it's really fun. I enjoy that a lot. I just, I wanted to get this over quickly and I just find I have a better chance of winning by fighting out on the ground than by going into there. Especially with how stupid computer allies are in this. So yeah. But it is a lot of fun to just fly around also I could just have gone out and flanked them from behind in those command posts but I didn't really trust my allies to hold this center command post so that's why I, I feel like doing that instead I'm gonna do this um, 
Yeah, see, so there, they've lost the command post. So this is the part where we may really make a push again in reinforcements. So that's the times where as long as you just hold your position here and hold the bridge, you really don't have to worry about too much. Unless they actually push out and start capturing your platform command post behind you. So yeah. If they do capture one, don't worry too much. They're probably not going to hold it. It's probably just better. I mean, if you want to, whatever. Can't exactly tell you how to play, but this is just what I would do. So yeah. So yeah, another point where our teammates got completely torn to shreds. So I'm just gonna spam a bunch of thermal detonators at them. Try to delay them for some guys to spawn here and start taking the bridge back. And I'm totally out of thermal detonators, so let's go get some of those. Er. So. And anyway, so do do. yeah, beware. Snipers will stand on the other side and try to snipe you, so it's a good idea to target them just so they can't tear the crud out of your teammates. If you're accurate enough, you should be able to take them out. Just wait till they fire, then you should be able to kill them before they have enough time to reload. Hold on, so yeah, this. The reinforcements have been cut off. So yeah, now we're really pulling ahead here because they keep losing one of those two command posts behind them and they're not really doing the same to us. So that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, it's not a given victory. I mean, last time, this is my second attempt, I went 62 and 2, held this bridge the entire time. But my teammates just got torn to shreds in the air, so. I mean, it was close. I like, lost by what, like 20 guys, but At one point I decided uh, I need to push out if I'm gonna have any chance. So I tried to push out over the bridge, and we got torn to shreds. So, yeah, that's not always gonna happen. I mean, you're gonna be able to push out and actually take the command post over there sometime, sometimes. But for the most part, it just doesn't work out for me. So yeah. I really wish they'd had this level in Battlefront 2. It's awesome, I mean... Yeah, they moved up to space battles and crap, so none of these ships really are in any land battles, but who gives a crap? You could've just put them in there for this level. And it would've been awesome, and I would've loved Battlefront 2 like 10 times more. Yeah, they're kinda of pushing up a bit here, and I'm down to... Push Oh great. Uh, okay, there's one of them up here somewhere. Where are you? Okay, okay. Wherever they are, they either died or ran away. Take so. cover. Okay, overcame that little scare. Doesn't look like they're gonna push back out. For them, so. uh, just more pressure. Oh, that's one of their command posts. I was like, what the heck? I don't see any of ours going white. But yeah, it was the command post that we took forever ago back there. So whatever, this thing's pretty much finished. I mean, um, there's not much more they could do besides pull out some miraculous push against us and catch all the command posts. Which I don't see happening, so... Yeah, let's just hold this and pushing up a little bit more. I mean, you can push up a little bit on the bridge, but if you get out too far, uh, you could definitely get yourself pinned down somewhere. The reinforcements are taking casualties. Also, I never really said this, but um, you can jump out onto the bridge by going on from the part where it's diagonal. And up, like, inclines off to the side. Victory is imminent. So yeah, it doesn't really work Let's against go. the Empire, Follow because me. one annoying defensive advantage they have 
is their anti-air turret right there faces the brig, and they can actually fire down to one point, and I actually point at the screen, even though you won't be able to see, but there's one point where they can actually fire down, like right where you walking out on the bridge, so they'll do that sometimes, and it's a really annoying defensive advantage they have, but... Also, yeah, that's why you don't really want to go up on the bridge against them because that thing, the guy in the turret there, will oftentimes see you in fire. Now, when you're playing as the Empire or the Heck, you can actually do that a lot better against the Rebels. So, yeah. And, uh, duh, duh. We've captured a command post. Also, this level, like, ridiculously favors, uh, the CIS in Clone Wars, at least in my opinion, because they have destroyer, destroyer droids, which completely destroy. They own everything on these bridges. Oh, I died. No. no. Uh, that's what I get for trying to push out. But whatever. All right. So yeah, I'll just show off. So you can walk on the bridge, and no guy in the turret now. Actually, I can try and destroy. So, uh, um, yeah. yeah. It gives you a bit of a high ground edge, and I thought I was gonna fall off there. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, oh, whoa. Looks like I'm, like, sliding down it for some reason. Kind of scary, but whatever. Yeah. Those canister things, even though they disappear on screen, they don't disappear right away, even though you can't see them anymore for probably a few seconds they stay around. But anyways, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Hooray! 72-1. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Um, yeah, kind of just hit back. Some of my teammates actually did some work here, so... That's pretty nice to know for once they're actually helping out. So anyways, let's check this out. 11 headshots. Dun, dun, dun. So we got Public Enemy and Deadeye. Yeah, 69, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um, do do do. So that takes care of my favorite level, and. 90 cents, come on, load already. We got the indoor steel stills. What the heck am I saying? We got the indoor stills for beating, for capturing both things on Bespin. That makes this sense. This mission um, is our last hope to take down the Empire. We have to get the shield generator down, so the attack on the second Wait, Death Star so what am I doing? I haven't even ended this one yet. Okay, anyways, so we took care of battle on the cloud. The next part, the Battle of Endor. See you guys then.